Would you like to see a book review instead of a discussion? Head over to Gilly's channel, link in the description. Hello, cool. my name is Ariel and this is... Gilly. And we're going to be discussing Hex by Thomas Old... I don't remember. Something. Something. I'll... Yes. I'll figure out how to put it up here. So the brief synopsis of the book is there's a town that's cursed and it's been cursed for like 300 years. These people can leave the town, but not for very long because something happens to them in their minds where they're just like, I need to get back there or I need to kill myself. And it's cursed by this really, really old witch who these teenagers are like, we're fed up with it. We want to change we want we want to grow up and have lead regular lives outside of this town for me that sounded like a really cool premise i thought i was going to read a book about a creepy witch and it's not quite what we got <laughs> uh gilly and i both agree that this book was well i think gilly said it was a waste of time <laughs> i did <laughs> But I disagree. I liked the book. I was really in it and until like halfway through. And then it yeah, just I can tell that you were into it. Yeah. We were just talking about it at the beginning. I lost I lost interest midway through the book. So you wanna say what you disliked about it or liked about it? Uh, I really gave this book so many chances. You know, during the time I was reading it, I was just, okay, okay, let's try another chapter and another chapter. It's going to get better. I'm going to like it. I was so enthusiastic about it at the beginning because it was the first time of me um, reading horror. But it wasn't as scary as I thought it was going to be. And it was so boring. The town was so one-dimensional. Dim yeah. There wasn't any depth to any character. Like you get exposed to the characters, but it's it's not like you're following one character or a group of characters because the book is really about a town. It's the story of a town. Yeah. I mean, I feel think, like it too. Yeah, I think that the story the story was mainly about the town and what the town was doing, and you got to see little snippets of each uh, character that was spoken about but you never really got to truly know all the characters that were spoken about. Like there was dialogue and backstory for several characters, but it never really focused on one. So like the main character of the book really was the town, which wouldn't be a bad thing if it was executed a bit better. Now, my okay. favorite character was Tyler and spoilers, he dies. And <laughs> I, I was upset when he died, but when he died, like, I was like, okay, there's going to be some, there's going to be some, uh, you know, sleuthing and they're going to figure out he did it and the guy did it and everything's going to happen and it, nothing happened. I mean, stuff happened, but just the way the book ended was ridiculous. I'm like, what is happening here? And your, your favorite character, I don't know if you can hear that. Can you hear that? I can. Oh, sorry. <laughs> that's the, that's the garbage truck. We can't uh, help that. Um, it, may, it might be the garbage truck. I don't know. Uh, uh, your favorite character was Grim, right? Yes. I just loved how cynical and Grim. Actually, his, na his last name is Grim, and he mm -hmm. was Grim. He was Grim. <laughs> yes. It was actually his trait. And I don't know. I just felt like you're so grumpy. I he feel grumpy. you. Yes. I just sympathize. It was the one character I could actually sympathize with. I don't know. I yeah. feel like I'm grumpy. <laughs> and yeah, and sometimes just so tired of everything. And it felt like Graham was so tired of everything all the time. It's like he has to take care of so many things. Well, yeah, he was the, he was the, like the, like the main guy at the Hex, yeah. uh, the, the Hex, what is it? The Hex station, I think that's what they called it. Yes. So, for me, the pros for me was the book was hella creepy. Like I was creeped out. I was you interested. Think? Huh? 
I expected it to be so much creepier. Oh, I'm the you... kind that has nightmares after um, horror movies and stuff, and I expected to be terrified. Well, it was your first horror book, so you were expected. You had a lot of expectations for it. But for me, I was, it just sounded like a really cool, interesting, creepy read. And it was creepy. It was creepy until about halfway through. And then you're like, what? This is where this is going? <laughs> like literally the end of the book was basically, it doesn't matter what happened to anyone. Everyone's dead. Nobody cares. There's literally nothing that could have done any, any different and that's it that's it that's the end that i was... think that's the problem you know i wouldn't mind to hate the end it's just that it felt it felt stupid it felt idiotic it didn't feel like i don't know if things happened and i could have hated on it yeah it was fine but i don't have anything i just hate that it was so everybody dies yeah I mean, I and feel like the book... In a very stupid way. Like, nothing really happens. It describes so many death scenes and so many yeah. horrible things. Happen yeah, there's like... The there's death by hanging, death by... There's children getting shot. There's all these things that if, if somebody was to tell me these things, I'd be like, cool, I want to read that. But then after reading it, I'm like, so there was no point to literally anything that happened in the book. Yeah. And I'm with you. I'm okay with hating an ending. But it's like the book wanted to be a character driven novel without having much character depth or development for 90% of the people. Also, there was only like four or five, maybe six female characters in the whole book. Yeah. And the guy who wrote this book is obviously like, you know, they don't really care about what, you know, what women do or what women think because like there was one guy like Grim, right? It was Grim, right? That was like the forehead. That was him, right? He yes. he was like so distracted by this chick's ugly that forehead. So and it was brought up at the beginning and end of the book. It's like I couldn't take her seriously because of her forehead. Why is her forehead matter to you so much? Yeah, her forehead was mentioned so many times. Like every yeah. time he was around her, her forehead was mentioned because he couldn't stand her forehead. Yeah, it was there. It just and then like Griselda, the Griselda, uh, one of our one of the I want to consider her him one of the one of the main characters. She was portrayed as just being this really nasty old lady who's not even that old, but but because you know she was she was in an abusive relationship, so then it, she's older than you know she might actually be, and she's just decrepit, and everybody doesn't really hate her, but they don't really love her either, but they have respect for her, because mm -hmm. she's been in the town a long time. She felt like know. an outcast for me. She was an outcast, but she yeah. was an outcast that, she was an outcast within outcast. Like, everybody in this town was an outcast. Let's talk about the fact that nobody really called her Griselda. When people thought about it, about that, when people thought about her in the book, they called her the butcher's wife. Yeah, the butcher's wife. He's dead. Yeah, not only and was her yeah, her yeah. husband dead. And you don't have to define her by her husband. That but see that's the thing. If you think about all the women in the book, they were all defined by who their husband by was. Men. Yes. The only female that was talked about in a uh like a like talked about like a, like a person. A like, yeah. like 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 a man, like it was uh Jocelyn. Catherine. No, Jocelyn. Jocelyn. Is oh, that yeah. her name? Right. That was Steve's yeah. wife, right? She was Steve's wife, but I felt like that was that was her job. You well, know, that was I her job, but she was the only one that, that was, was really called by her first wife. name. Yes, right. And well, like, Catherine was called by her first name, but Catherine wasn't a woman. I Catherine just felt like Jocelyn. Name. Right. I just felt like Jocelyn wasn't important enough like Griselda was a more dominant um I agree. character you know I and Jocelyn was just agree. not that important so people people didn't have to talk about Jocelyn to refer to Jocelyn so we know she's Jocelyn just as much as we know that Griselda is Griselda but yeah. everybody in the town still um treated Griselda as the butcher's wife and Jocelyn is just not mentioned that much. No, she's only she's only really mentioned when when the kids are mentioned. That's the only time she's really mentioned. Yeah. So, what about um, do you have anything you liked about the book? We've already talked about how much we hated it and why we hated it. Yeah. 
I thought, I'll, I'll tell you the truth, at the beginning, I was, it was very hyped for me. And I really, I could really see it as a movie. I could see like um, the scenes, I could see the town and some part of me loved that it was town focused and not a single character focused. You know what I mean? I yeah. like that I didn't have to follow one character. I like that it was a story of a town. But just as you said, it just wasn't executed well, no. in my opinion. If it was executed well, do you hear that, by the way? Mm -mm. No? Okay, cool. If it, if it was executed well, it could have been really, really amazing. I actually loved that it was so, that we had such a big um, open space to see all of that all of these characters yeah it was a really cool platform i think that the idea of a creepy cursed town sounded great yeah. i just i feel like it feel like it went into a direction like at all i feel like there was a no choice maybe that's why the by why the author did it there was there was no choice but the whole whole town to die in the end but yeah I don't, I never really thought that the witch would live, uh, not live, but like go away. But I didn't think that the book would end with literally everyone just deciding, okay, we're not going to exist anymore. Or we're going to burn, like people burn in this book. Like they shove people into an old church, which they call Crystal Meth Church, which is terrible. And yeah, just, I didn't get that. Why does it call Crystal? It was so stupid. Uh, it went off the name of the church. I think they were just, the author was just trying to make it sound worse. So, yeah. For me, the part of the books that I liked, like I said, I liked from like the beginning to the middle. I liked the buildup. The buildup was good. It was creepy. I really enjoyed the buildup, but then it just plateaued and ended. Just, not a fan. Yeah, I get what you mean. It just that it, the end was so, so um, I forgot the word. It was just oh, too much. It was, it was just too much too for you. Bizarre. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Because it was a lot of different um, reasons of death. For me, it was you know, a lot of description. It was. Yeah, it, it didn't. I just. It was, so, it was just um, plain. Yeah, there was a lot going on, but nothing that really made an impact on the story. Like, there was there was just so much going on from like, I don't know, I forget the page number, but I don't know, maybe we'll say about 80% of the book to the end. There was so much going on, but no real reason for it to happen. It was just like, yes, let me see exactly. how much stuff I can write that'll make it make people go, what? And then I'm just going to end it. That's exactly what I was thinking, that it was too many bizarre things that didn't have a reason, didn't have logic, didn't have a build-up. Catherine did a lot of things that I didn't know she could do, and it was just... Yeah. Well, I feel like if you've watched the video this far and you disagree with us, you should let us know in the comments why you disagree with us. And maybe give us your thoughts on the book as a whole. Hmm? And uh, uh, what do you think? The book as a whole. I'll tell you what. There were so many things that I didn't like. I get, it, it was just, even if we put away the misogyny thing and the racist thing and, um, you know, moral things i felt like the book was kind of boring like yeah nothing really happened i know there was a build-up but nothing really happened like okay we have a bunch of teenagers and they do a lot of crap and they disagree and one of them does really horrible things yeah but it just went on like this until everything exploded so Ooh. i didn't yeah. feel like there was i didn't feel like there was any development i felt like I know when I felt like, okay, he's doing a lot of crappy things for me. I mean, Tyler's death could have been, I guess, like a step down. Um, but it was just, it, it wasn't even the witch who killed yeah. him. 
Yeah, the witch really didn't do anything till the end. So, um, I think we should go yeah, ahead and wrap just it up. Hated nothing. I think we should go ahead and wrap it up because I don't want this to be too long. I don't want us to complain about it for too long, but um, I think that if you, as the person watching this video, like I said earlier, if you feel like we're wrong, tell us if you have uh, different opinions, tell us. And I really hope that you enjoyed this, enjoyed this video. <laughs> so I hope you guys have a good day. And Gilly, do you have any closing words? Uh, don't read Hex. Seriously, we did it for you. Don't do it. <laughs> well, I gave it two stars and you gave it how many stars? One. One. Oh. I gave well it then. one. <laughs> <laughs> it's right, the well, first time I ever give one star to a book, I think. That well, I finished. You heard it here, folks. Don't read it. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody have a good day. Bye. Bye.